Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Folks, I got another one for you. And no, it's not by Dartmouth and Nubeo. This one is by Oceaniva. Now, Oceaniva is a brand I've worked with off and on for, geez, it seems like six to ten years. Um, I worked with them years and years ago on one particular watch, and then we just kind of lost touch until recently. Um, in the last, I'd say, six months, they sent me several different watches from their collection, and I'm telling you, this brand is absolutely amazing. Now, we all know that there's lots of other brands out there making what we call Rolex Submariner homage watches. I don't think this is necessarily a company that just does that. Um, there's a lot of brands out there, but when we look at a Submariner, it's an iconic classic watch. And remember, before the Rolex, there was something else. So a lot of folks will say the Rolex is a homage to the 50 Fathoms. It, you know, it, there's always there has to be somebody who originally came out of the watch, and if we go back far enough, we'll find that all these modern watches, simple modern watches, tend to look like other counterparts, right? So basically, this brand, if you were to look at the watch I'm going to share with you guys today, you'll see some similarities between that and a Rolex Submariner. Now, it's I and I want you to I want you to look at those those uh, those similarities, right? Because by the time this video is over, really, there's really no point in spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a luxury, I shouldn't really put that in quotes because they are luxury brands, but you don't have to, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get insane quality. Watches like this, this really to me is the top of the pinnacle. You don't, I don't see the point in going past this level of quality. Now, when we talk about those really super expensive $20,000 plus watches, Sure, there's going to be some differences, right? You're going to have maybe some finer attention to detail on the finishing on maybe some of the, the movement parts, right? Stuff that you're never going to use, and you're never going to see, and you're never going to notice. These are things, again, in my opinion, that are actually pointless to spend extra money on. The old term Swiss made is a pointless term nowadays. It does not signify that you're getting a certain level of quality, right? It just means that whoever created that watch basically did what they had to do to be able to use that designation, right? At one point, if we go back 20, 30 years, that designation may have meant something. You know, modern machining, modern manufacturing was not as good as it is today. We are living in a different world. And so when you get affordable watches, you're getting amazing quality. There is no reason, in my opinion, to spend more. Now, as far as price on this, this is an unreleased watch right now. This is coming out this week. So I encourage you, if you are an, o an Oceaniva fan already, if you've already experienced the quality of their brand, then you don't need me to sell you on it, right? You don't need to see this watch to know it's something you're going to want to sign up for. Um, if you haven't, here we go, right? All right, so Oceaniva, right? One of my favorite watches that I have in that, we'll call it Rolex style Submariner. Um, and again, remember, that's a basic design. There's nothing really so special about that watch that really a, a $20 Timex doesn't look like, right? It's round, it's got lugs, and ultimately, it's pretty easy to make that, that kind of... Um, kind of use that label as homage when really it's just similar, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a complete copy. And you're going to see with this watch that it's really not, right? If you want to buy a one-to-one -one homage, you buy something like a Duxo that's, I mean, it's down to the exact size. It's down to, uh, they get it down to, you know, duplicating the clasp like Pagani Design, stuff like that. Oceaniva is doing their own thing, right? And I'm telling you, this brand is incredible. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other video I did on a very similar watch to this, the Deep Marine two um, with that uh, that aquamarine mother of pearl it's one of my favorite pieces i wear it all the time i love that watch and so when um i started talking with my contact at oceaniva uh about their new release i was so excited um it actually made me buy another watch from them uh this one was comp they did send this to me i'm super fortunate that i get to work with these amazing brands uh but i did buy the Oceanium, I think it's called. Uh, I ha barely have worn it. I've just been so busy last week. I will do a review on that as well. But this watch is killer. You guys have actually asked for this because I was talking to the contact and uh, he was saying this is one of the watches that people reach out to us to say, you know, we, we take surveys and we want to know what people want, right? This is the kind of company that, remember I said in other videos when people complain about Invicta and the branding on the side or or maybe they want like Sapphire or these different things. Invicta, I don't necessarily think that they, they, they it's such a big company, they just kind of do their own thing, right? Whereas Oceaniva, they actually listen. They got their ear to the door. They're listening to what people want. And it doesn't matter whether I agree with it or not, right? I'm not too picky when it comes to watches, right? I like everything, right? I'm a, I'm a greasy watch collector. What can I say? But I 
don't discriminate. Like, more the merrier. But I do appreciate folks who are looking for those checkboxes. I call them. In every video, I talk about checkboxes. I'm like, I'm a beating a horse dead, right? The checkboxes are important to a lot of people. What kind of movement? What kind of crystal? What kind of materials? You know, um, um, does it have, uh, what else? How's the bezel? Those are the major checkboxes. But my number one checkbox is, do you like it? Do, are you buying it for you or are you buying it for someone else? Are you buying it for the perception of others or are you buying it because it makes you happy and you made an adult decision as a man on what's a good value for what you're getting, right? And so my check boxes are one, do I like it? Do I want to wear it? Am I drawn to it? This watch, absolutely. Number two, and really there, it's, it's so close to number one, what is it made out of? Is it 316 stainless steel or is it not? If it's 316 stainless steel, that I'm already sold. It's already, I'm already interested, right? And then you look at things like crystal movement, stuff like that. So let's talk about what this brand gives you and what this brand does. So they know that although I don't think Sapphire is all that important, it is to most people. It is the most scratch resistant crystal that you can get in a watch, right? So we're going to talk about the specs a little more. I'm not going to like spec I'm not going to spec hammer you. What I encourage you to do again is click the link in the description, go for the early sign up. You're not obligated. Go with the early sign up. As soon as these become released, you'll get a notification and then you get the opportunity to buy it at a discounted rate. From my understanding, the price is going to be pretty insane for an automatic GMT. Just kind of keep this in mind. If you go looking at Seikos and automatic GMTs, you're looking at like 500 plus. Go looking at a Swiss made. GMT, a thousand plus. So this is going to be an incredible deal and I'm not going to speculate on how inexpensive this is going to be, but they're going to knock it out of the park with this. I don't think these are going to last. So let's talk about the presentation. Bam. So Oceaniva does uh, the dive case, very similar to a lot of other brands out there. I like that they're not the huge dive case. This you can actually repurpose if you don't use these like me. I use these for like ammunition. Uh, you know, I use these for little, 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 I don't want to say trinkets, but I use these for like, you know, bracelet storage or band storage for other watches. Um, this is a fantastic case. It's the kind of case that if you drop it, it doesn't split. I have had other brands, uh, they use like a harder plastic and they're not really durable. This is actually a dive case. Um, these are great for taking them on the boat, putting your phone in there, you know, securing things from getting wet. Um, it's great. So, but you'll see this very similar case in a lot of brands. The Oceaniva logo is one that I absolutely love. Uh, there's other brands like their sister company, if I'm saying that right, uh, Oceaniva, same company, right? Different, different watch brand. I, I, and they're unique as well, but I love the Oceaniva name. Uh, when we compare this to like other brands like Neymar, like even Pagani's okay, but like Neymar and uh, many other brands you might find on Amazon. Sometimes like those Chinese companies, they, 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 they kind of pick odd names, right? With this, this is a name when you say it, like what kind of watch you are in Oceaniva? Like you could be proud to say it sounds good. It relates to the ocean. It's a dive watch. It's a tool dive watch. So great, great name on this. And the Trident is awesome. I mean, and you'll see by when I show you the watch here. And I'm going to show you when I shut up for a second. But let's just get this out of the way. Pop it open. Of course, you have... Uh, a polishing cloth, you have the paperwork, you have an extra strap, uh, which is the black, looks like rubber or silicone, not sure what that is. I'll just put that back because you know me, I never take it off a bracelet. And of course, your warranty card and your tool, your hang tag. Uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to dig too much into that. You've seen one box, you've seen them all. Let's talk about the watch. Now, I already have this bad boy size. Check this out. Oh, no, they did not. So what do I like most about this watch besides like the fact it's a GMT automatic, uh, the fact that it's uh, exceptional quality? I love the color, right? So we're going to talk about the check boxes, but the color on this, arguably, I think this is the best variation. I don't think this is going to last. I think this one will be the very first to sell out. Check that out. So you have almost like a, I would say a champagne dial. Uh, it does have sort of a metallic property to it. And then on the, on the bezel, you actually have this blue, like a navy blue or kind of like a navy blue. And then the bezel is actually silver. So I have not seen too many watch companies doing this particular color combination. It is awesome. It screams ocean. I can see this sucker on my wrist on some sailboat. Not that I have a sailboat or any intention on getting one anytime soon. But the point is, is that 
picture it, right? This just screams ocean. The quality is exceptional. Bezel action on these, incredible. There is no back play. I know some folks, I say it and joke about it in many videos, so I'm, I apologize if you guys watch me for a long time and say, dude, you say the same stuff, but it's really true. Let me get this to focus here. Um, you know, the bezel action on these is great. You're not going to turn the bezel and say, oh, look at this back plate. It's tight. It's solid. Um, it turns with ease. Um, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, right? Uh, what else? Uh, when we look at the crystal, of course, one of the check boxes, you have a sapphire crystal. Uh, which is again a checkbox for many folks. It is the most scratch resistant crystal you get a watch. Now, me, I've never scratched a watch ever, but again, a lot of folks, you know, especially watch collectors who really like uh, the micro brands like Oceaniva. They, they appreciate that. I like the fact they didn't do an exhibition window on the back. I, I feel like when you get a dive watch, although it is kind of cool to see the movement. It's just more solid having that solid stainless steel back, you know. Um, it's just it just screams like this watch is ready for action. Not to say that an exhibition window is bad. Not to say you're going to have a problem with it at all. But um, I like. I like not being able to see the movement on something like this. Um, you do have a screw down crown, of course, buttery smooth screw down crown. This is powered by a Seiko NH34, and that's their automatic GMT movement. Now, this watch, this movement is actually, let me just read this to you. This watch movement is the same as the Seiko's Caliber 4R34. And if you look at what watches have that, if you get a comparable watch by Seiko with that movement, you're gonna be paying $575, $600, right? With this, this is the NH34, and they're exactly the same movement. There is not much difference between the two. I don't think there's any difference, to the best of my knowledge, between the two, but one is branded and used in Seiko watches, and then the NH34 is actually designed to be sold as movements for other brands like Oceaniva, who outsource the brand and put it in their watches. Uh, so you know you're getting a high quality, reliable, robust movement. There is You don't need any more, right? And you're getting it for a lot less. Uh, we do have a helium release valve on the side. Um, really nice wrist presence on this. I think the Seiko movements sometimes make the watch a little thicker, which I prefer. I don't like when a watch is skinny. Some folks do. Uh, for me, I prefer having a little bit of thickness. And here's like, I love the clasp on these. They didn't bother with a safety latch. I don't think you need it on a watch like this. You have a dual push button deploying clasp, four levels of micro adjustment, and all they did on the clasp is that Trident, that Oceaniva Trident. It's awesome, it's clean, and they made it big. They, they're, they're, they're proud of that logo, right? I like the fact you see the logo on there and you don't have the branding on it. Again, it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me, but I do like that they just have that big, bold trident. And it is a cool logo. I mean, I, I, I really can't, you know, sometimes when I work with other companies, like some of the Chinese companies, I, I wish they would reach out first and say, hey, can you help us pick a name um, and a logo? Because th that's important. Like, I don't, you guys know I'm an Invicta fan. I don't really care for the Invicta logo either, right? It's just not... I think they could have done better. Uh, brands like uh, Aragon, the Dragon, it's okay, you know. But this, it just screams dive, it dive watches, screams ocean. It's awesome. I, I absolutely love it. Um, so what else? Um, again, 316 stainless steel. On this particular one, and just kind of keep in mind, this is an early release. I was able to get my hands on. Um, I believe the, early, the the release coming out to the public, I think it's going to have a brushed stainless steel band. I don't think it's going to have this polished center links. Um, you know, for me, I, I could have went either way with this. Um, I think that it, that this particular bracelet does complement the watch pretty well because you have some mirror polishing around that coin edged bezel. Uh, but, you know, I, I look forward to seeing it with the brush uh, bracelet as well. But either way, to me... You may feel differently, but to me, it's a very small um, thing to have to worry about. I think they ended up throwing this bracelet on this watch because they didn't get the new ones in yet. It's, it's the exact same bracelet. The only difference is mirror polish, polishing. Um, solid end links. Solid, solid, solid end links. Solid center links. Again, beautiful milled clasp on this. Dual push button deploying clasp. I like these way more than a friction clasp. Although, again, I haven't had any problems with either of them. Um, I just There's something about it I like more. But check out that GMT hand. 
I love the fact they made that yellow just pop, you know. They want you to know that this is a GMT. Sure, they could have done like a, you know, a, a red hand or something like that. And maybe some of the other color options have that. But, you know, if it was me, I, when I when I designed this watch, or if I designed this watch, I would have been like, oh, put a blue hand on there. I would never have picked yellow. But with this particular watch, I, I would have been dead wrong. I love the way that GMT stands out with the yellow. And I think, again, the reason they did that is because they want you to know it's a GMT. They, If you are somebody who owns... The standard uh, Deep Marine 2 with the, I think it's the NH35, I forget which one off the top of my head. I didn't mean it. Salida, not sure. Um, to go back to that video. But I like the fact they did that. It lets you know, for the guy who bought another Ocean Evil watch and just is looking to add a GMT, maybe he really likes the same color it already has. I liked it the fact they made that pop. I like the chrome hands or the mirror polish stainless steel hands. Everything about this is clean, it's classy, is a fantastic looking piece. And again, when you have tons of you know watches like this in my collection, you know, every time I collaborate with a company or I'm reaching out to some new company, I just want something with a little bit of a different color, right? They knocked it out of the park with this. I think, again, arguably this is the best color combination. But again, that is subjective. You may, you know, you may like the, the, the Coke version. They do have, uh, again, several different variations on this. So, they do have an awesome looking green and black, which is cool too. Um, on the face, they have listed helium escape valve. Then they have on the bottom here... 683 fathoms, which is pretty cool. I like that they put that on the inside of the bezel ring. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you get what I'm saying. But just a sweet, sweet piece. Um, I think measurement on this is 42, but let me just confirm that. Uh, I don't have a spec sheet in front of me, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like at the bezel, just under 42, 41, 42. Uh, when, again, sign up for the early release um, uh, email sign up in there. These are probably going to be released, I'm thinking, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Don't quote me on that. Again, don't count on me to remind you. Go in the description right now of this video and sign up for the early release. As soon as these are available, they'll let you know. If you want to buy one, great. If you don't, if you say, hey, you know, I don't think I'm going to, you know, buy one this time, no harm, no foul. But at least if you sign up, you'll have the opportunity to get it for an early release discounted price. After that, they're going to raise the price. Um, I think this is one that's going to sell out by Oceaniva. Again, if you look at the other Oceaniva watches, you'll see prices from you know several, you know, the 300 range. You'll see some they have they have it at ones. I think 199 at one point, um, and then they go up to like 1200, and that price kind of fluctuates. I know the Deep Marine 3 has an insane de uh, depth rating. You're going to pay a little more for that, but the price does change. I don't think this is going to be, we compare this to the Deep Marine 2, uh, which is quite a bit more than what I think this is going to go for. So pick it up if you have been wanting to add a style, Submariner style watch to your collection, look no further. Um, if we compare this to other brands like Pagani Design, Pro Divers, this one, this is one of those cases where this watch is a higher level of, of quality, right? It just feels robust. It feels really solid. Not that those other brands are awesome watches, but this is where that, that quality level just jumps up a notch here. And when you see the price on this from, I'm not going to tell you because I don't know to be facts yet, uh, to, be fa to be a fact, but from my understanding, I have a range and I'm telling you the price is going to be really good on this. So that's it, folks. Let's throw on the wrist, show you what it looks like. If I left anything out, Drop me a comment. Um, I check my phone nonstop throughout the day. I'll get you the answer if I haven't uh, mentioned it already. And uh, yeah, I mean, oh, good God, man. This is one of those watches that I was really excited to get. I was actually more excited to get this than the watch I purchased from them. The, uh, what is it, the Oceanum or whatever it is. You'll see the video come up on that as well. Uh, but this one, I just could not wait to get my hands on. And I just think it's just that GMT with, and I don't, I think I only have one or two other GMT watches. One is Quartz and the other one is, uh, is an automatic, but it's an inexpensive Ligi out of, uh, you know, got out on Ally Express. It's nice, but it's, it's not this nice. I mean, this is a killer watch. Now, I have a 7-inch wrist that weighs about 180 pounds. So, again, 41, 42 millimeter. This is what it's going to look like on this particular wrist size. Um, it'll give you an idea what it looks like on you. But even getting back a bit, like you can see, you know, I know we get desensitized. If you're, you know, watch me for the Invicta videos and the Aragons, we get desensitized at watch sizes. But this, I mean, it doesn't, like, it's not a small watch by any means. Like, this one here, it just, it looks fantastic. 
and definitely sure to get noticed. I mean, that color combination is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, you know, it's great to have a blackface watch. It's great to have the, the classic Pepsi or the, the, the root beers or whatever the colors. But this one here, I, I just can't believe other folks don't do this combination. It just screams like it's just so nautical. I mean, it, it, badass is the only way I could describe this. I'm so happy I get to collaborate with Oceaniva. Um, you know, and, and if my excitement for this watch doesn't make you want to get one, I don't know what will. I mean, you're. I mean, I just like this stuff. You just can't. You just can't make this shit up. I mean, it is just so exciting to get a new watch from my collection. And again, I have over 200 watches. You would think that I would just start to not get excited, but. I don't know when you get when you get watches like this it's just I can't help myself so that's it guys let me know if I get up anyway I want to thank Oceaniva again for the, their generosity over the years and collaborating with my brand uh, it's absolutely fantastic and what a great way to feed my dirty little addiction of watch collecting so thanks for watching guys have a great day and take care